I'm blown away. Some of you guys are just so amazingly talented that I wish I was you. Happy Friday, Moonies! That's right, today is Friday, so everybody here has to be in a good mood because it's Friday, the best day of the week, arguably. How is everybody doing out there? Are you guys going to be doing anything fun this weekend? I know for me, I'm going to be eating something delicious. It's jelly bean season. That's my favorite candy, just in case you didn't know. So since today is Friday, most of my subscribers know that Fridays are the day I could post a new episode of Fan Made Fridays. So hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you stay up to speed. Today is Fan Made Fridays episode 3. It's Fan Made. This is the segment on my little channel where I offer additional reach to some creative Sailor Moon fans who make a variety of items. Every creator's shop and socials will be listed in the description below in order as they appear in this video. So make sure you read the description so you can check out any of the creators that I am showcasing in today's video today if you're interested in what they make. Shop and support small businesses, especially Sailor Moon fans, because we the best. Y'all ready for these goodies? Today I've got a whole basket full right here, plus this box right here to open up, and I can't wait to show you what's in this box. I didn't think I would ever showcase something like this. I didn't even know a fan could make something like this, so you guys just gotta wait and see what's inside this box. So I am gonna switch camera angles for this. As you guys are familiar, if you've watched episode one and two, which if you haven't, check them out in the description below or wait to the end of this video and go watch the previous episodes. They've got some good stuff in them, so don't miss it. But getting to my point, I will switch camera angles so we can open them up together, okay? Just gonna pick up these and dance my way, y'all. We back, we back. Here's the basket. You guys ready? I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, go through it just as it is right here. So it's in no particular order, but I will have each creator uh, socials and links, like I said, down there in the description below as order as they are going to be shown in the video. So like we're gonna start with Lucero Handcrafts first. So they will be the first shop link to be shown in the description down below. And it's a beautiful blue envelope here. Let's see what Lucero Handcrafts has to send. Oh, we got a little note. Oh, I always love when creators get so creative and package things so cute. So you get to open it up. It's like a little present opening them up. And here was the contents of that blue envelope. We haven't revealed what's inside these little packages yet. I got a nice little note from them which if you want to read it go ahead and pause it but i've already read it it's super sweet super nice thank you so much for the kind words i don't know which one should we open first should we just go with this cute little pink bag here go ahead and reveal what's inside oh gosh i love this color by the way beautiful we got little sailor moon stickers and of course the shop name lucero handcrafts i kind of forgot what lucero handcrafts does so <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's a moon stick! It's a moon stick acrylic charm, it looks like. Little keychain, the little games we show right here. Oh my gosh, <gasps> I'm dying over the details. Look at the little star on the keychain part and another little little jewel. Is this supposed to be another games we show? I don't know. And even the tape on the back is cute. We gotta open this up and get a closer look. It looks like a thick piece too. Oh, the, the gym is on both sides. Nice, look how thick acrylic that is. Is this a moon shaped keychain holder? Little crescent moon shaped? Dude, this is legit. I have to say it's beautiful. The quality is immaculate. I mean, the acrylic part on this, there's no scratches on it. And look how super thick it is. And it's not just the moon stick. You get the crescent moon holder right here, an additional star and gem piece. Like it's like a little bit bedazzled, right? So it's sparkly, it's cute, it's pink, very Sailor Moony. I love this. So to be adorable on a bag, don't you think? And we're not done. We're not done. We've got a lot of things to open from Lucero Handcrafts. 
Oh my gosh, are these earrings, dude? And here they are. So these are Sailor Moon inspired earrings. And here's the back. We've got a beautiful cut out of the Ginzui Show or the Silver Crystal. It does say that, uh, please note that all hardware is brass. So these are brass earrings and will oxidize with the oils from your skin or hands. To remove a tarnish, all you need to do is polish with an at-home solution. There are many tutorials on how to do so online. So if you guys buy these for yourself, you'll have to look up a tutorial if they become tarnished. Um, but it seems pretty simple. I'm sure there's a good tutorial out there. These are really cute. Can't wait to wear them. Look at this, we're still not done. We've got this little green package here. Does that mean it could be Sailor Jupiter in here? Everybody knows she's my favorite guardian, right? What could be hidden behind green tissue paper number two? I was right! I was right, I was right. These are so super cute. Just like Makoto Kino's earrings in the show, they are little rose studs. Oh, these would be great for cosplay, don't you guys think? I think they knew I'm a Sailor Jupiter fan. Love the card that they did too. That's what I love about all these creators. Not only are their products really cute, really good and creative, but they also get creative with their packaging designs. I'm impressed. We're still not done. We still have one box left and this says Black Moon Clan. So we already know this has something to do with the Black Moon. Wonder what's inside. <laughs> Being bad never looked so good. Okay, how are we gonna look good? How are we gonna look a Black Moon Clan good, huh? Ooh, now I understand. These are inspired uh, based on the earrings that most of the Black Moon Clan wear in the show. If you are a fan of the villains, you're gonna love these. So these were the four pieces that I got from Lucero Handcrafts on Etsy. We have a special offer just for my subscribers, my followers. If you guys want to shop and see what Lucero Handcrafts has on Etsy, got their link to their shop down there in the description. And also when you shop, use code OCHIPA10 for 10% off through May 2021. Utilize the code guys, save some money, shop small businesses. It's a win-win. Thank you again, Lucero Handcrafts. I'm honored you sent me some stuff to showcase on my channel. You guys ready for the next package? This is actually from a returning creator. They have been featured on this segment before on my channel. So welcome back Enchanted Dan Pins. Gosh, he does some incredible work. I can't wait to see what he sent. And he always sends a bunch. Enchanted Dan, you are just so generous. And yes, I call you Enchanted Dan. That's your full name to me. <laughs> So first up, we got this card from Enchanted Dan, who sent me a note. I have already read it. It is so nice. Enchanted Dan's a very cool guy. Um, I really highly suggest you guys check out his pins. He does great work, but don't take my word for it. Let me show you guys what his pins look like. We're just going to go with the first ones first, which is this one. And he wraps all of his pins in cute tissue paper. So don't got to worry about them getting scratched up. Ooh, yes! Okay, I love this design. So, Enchanted Dan does this design in a lot of different colors, I believe. I have a, a gold one that he did prior on this channel that he sent. And this one is a rainbow one of Eternal Sailor Moon. And, oh, goodness. Look at this. It's awesome, isn't it? Let's get really up close and personal with Eternal Sailor Moon. I just love it so, so, so much. And here's the back of the card that the pin comes on and all of Enchanted Dan's shop and socials, which I will have clickable links for you guys down there in the description below. So please don't forget. Awesome pin to start off this Enchanted Dan on opening. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Oh, we get a teaser. You can kind of see it through the tissue paper. So it's not really that much of a surprise. Oh my gosh. His pins are just, they're top notch quality guys top-notch quality and look how big they are as well like look at that size the quality is immaculate huge fan enchanted dan huge fan okay who do we got next because we got a lot to open let's try and get through them try and get through them oh how cute so this is a part of enchanted dan's fairy tale inspired pins i believe this is anna from frozen Gosh, it's been a minute since I've seen the Frozen movies. It looks like two pins, but it's actually just one pin. Very cute, and as always, great work. 
So the next one looks to be another Frozen inspired pin. We got Elsa this time. Oh, beautiful. They're so cute and chippy. I love this dress in the new Frozen movie. All right, all right, we're going, we're keeping going. Got a lot to go through. What is this? Okay, Dan, you stumped me. What is this? What is this symbol? I should have researched these uh, before I opened them, but I am not sure what this one is, Dan. Oh, I feel terrible. But then again, I wanted to have these uh, unopenings as my first reaction. So looking them up prior would not have been very good because then I wouldn't have, I would have known. It would have been the same. What am I trying to say? Dan, you stumped me. What is this? What is this? I'm having a hard time. I really am. I don't know what this is. If you guys know what this is, please let me know in the comments below. I don't know. What is it? What are you? I'm going to move on because I don't know what that one is. Okay. No, not another one of these symbols. I don't know what it is. Damn. He wanted to stump me on my own channel. Another one of these symbols. I am not fucking sure. Oh my God. This is sending me through a loop. I mean, I can't argue with the quality. That's all I can say about it. Oh, look, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the little, um, uh, what do you call this stuff? I am so stumped. I'm so stumped and frustrated. <laughs> on my own channel, on my own channel. Danny, Danny boy, what have you done to me? This is gonna kill me. This is gonna keep me up at night until I know what this is. You know, right after I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna go and research this and I am probably gonna do a face palm, a big face palm, because I probably know what this is subconsciously. Maybe. I'm not sure. Dan! Okay. I, at least I know what this one is. At least I know what this one is. This is because your girl lives in Kansas. And The Wizard of Oz, oh my god, is the biggest iconic movie for my state in the history of movies. And to answer your question, yes, we get tornadoes. Oh my gosh, Dorsey actually looks really cute in this. I love her red lipstick and Toto, little Toto right there. Oh, I had a dog just like Toto growing up. So it's very fitting for this Kansan. I'm a proud Kansan too. So this makes me happy. This makes me so happy. Thank you, Dan. Okay, here's the special limited edition gold packaging. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't know why this one is in gold. He could have just ran out of the other tissue paper and had to use this one, but we'll, we'll find out, we'll find out. Ah, Sailor V is the video game sprite. Ah, she's so cute. Is this uh based off the one in Crystal at the video game arcade? Look at her little heart. Oh, she's so super cute. Dan, you have a sprinkled glitter all over my table. Little magical girl dust right here. Dan likes to spoil me. He sent me eight pins, you guys. Eight pins. They are always great quality. I'm always impressed with Dan's work. You guys definitely got to check out what other pins that he sells. If you like any of these that you see today, these are all for sale on his Etsy. I'll have the link, of course, in the description below. Dan, these two have stumped me. I don't know what these are on the top of my head. I'm sure... I'm going to be very upset once I find out the origin of this symbol <laughs> later on. They're still very cool. Thanks so much, Dan, for coming back on Fan Made Fridays. We're always happy to have you back on this segment. So the next two items that I got, I purchased from Redbubble, but it's actually from an artist that I love, 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 love their work to death. They are Marco Albiero quality, I will tell you right now. Like, this artist should be working for Toei Animation alongside Marco. This is how they came packaged from Redbubble, by the way. And these are spiral notebooks, of course. And these notebooks are by an artist called Sassy Spice 91. Look at the artwork that they do. Like, here's Queen Nihelania. I'll get a close up of this, and it's kind of like she's busting through the mirror, right? You know, she's got a thing for mirrors. I love Queen Nihelania as a villain. I always thought it was really unique that she had cat eyes. Like, I'm like, what the? Is she a cat lady? What is this about? I just love it. Like, I mean, look, she's even got claws. Now, Sassy Spice does all of their merch through Redbubble. So, Redbubble is the place that actually actually prints and does all the merch for them. It's gonna be like stuff like backpacks, stickers, notebooks, bags, masks, stuff like that. And these are just the artworks that I chose. 
I love the Amazonas Quartet because of their tropical theme and tropical vibes, you know, because they're from the Amazon. They're cool Amazon chicks, right? So I love this one because of the palm trees and the neon looking sign. I thought that was a really cool design. It's so weird that I got Supers Season Villains. I didn't even mean to, to do that. I just ended up liking both of those artworks by Sassy Spice. And I think you always need some notebooks. So I'll include Sassy Spice 91 socials and their Redbubble shop down there in the description below. Definitely check them out. They do great fan work. Oh, I mean, look at it. I mean, come on, doesn't that look like it's straight out of a Toei Animation like art book or something? Like, mm, mm, good stuff. Love you, Sassy Spice. This package is kind of important. I didn't mean to throw it down like that. <laughs> I know that this is like probably not fragile, right? So I didn't mean to just whack it down there. Sorry, Adorka Bows. This is by a, oh my gosh, this person has, been, the creator of Adorka Bows has been my friend since my collecting beginnings, okay? So her and I go way, 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 way back. I love Sarah. She's a great person, a great Mooney. She's also a badass creator as well. So <laughs> she did something special for me and I can't wait to see what it is. I got a Sailor Jupiter chibi sticker from her. Oh my God. I love her. Look at her little star power stick. It looks like a lollipop. Is this actually by her? Oh no, it's not. Sticker by Dami Bear Co. on Instagram. Okay, so shout out to Dami Bear Co. Or is it Domi Bear Co.? Domi, Dami, Domi, Dami. This is their Instagram. Go check out their Instagram if you like this chibi sticker. Oh, this makes me happy. This makes me so proud. We care. Your order was mindfully packaged using eco friendly materials. Oh, Sarah, you're a good person. There's a good person on this planet. So Adorka Bows, like I said, is owned by my friend Sarah, and she does these very elaborate, highly detailed, handmade bows with sometimes official Sailor Moon uh, gashapon charms or anything that she can get a hold of. Like, I know she did some with the cameo charms, which looked so awesome. But that's kind of an example of her work. What is this? This is the pin artist. Oh, so... Ooh, okay, okay. So the bow that I'm assuming is going to have a pin from Bunny Bees. I will make sure to include all their socials down there in the description too. We have this. Ochi, thank you so much for your many years of friendship. Aw, you're welcome. And for your energy plus enthusiasm for keeping us all updated on shiny Sailor Moon stuff. Best wishes for your 2021. Oh man, we all need that. Give your followers the code Ochi15 for 15% 15 off my shop for the next two weeks. Oh my gosh. I open this up really late. I, I'll try to talk to Sarah and see if she can't uh, activate this starting now for the next two weeks. I'll talk to her. So keep in mind Ochi15 if you like anything from her shop. Um, hopefully we can work something out to where she will honor that since I, I'm so busy and I'm so sorry I'm getting to this late. Sarah, I love your stationery. Did you draw this yourself? Oh my god, it's your cat! A cat with only one eye! I can't believe it's your cat! Okay, we gotta get on to this. Okay, so we had a deal. She did not want me to even peek at this until I opened it up on camera and I told her okay I would I would wait so I have not opened this yet I have no clue what she made me she said she was going to design a bow just for me just to open up on my YouTube channel so I don't think she's shown this bow anywhere else on her socials uh, correct me if I'm wrong Sarah if you <laughs> showcased it anywhere else if it's this big holy shit we're gonna wear it at the end of the video if if I can Okay, so I promised her I have not opened it yet. This tape is still sealed on there. There's your little logo, Adorka Bows by Sarah's Plush and Stuff. All right, here it goes. <gasps> oh my Jesus God! Oh my God! <gasps> oh my God! Look at this epicness look at the size of this holy crap is this huge and my hands are huge guys i've got gigantic man hands i promise you look how big this beautiful bow is oh my god i love the colors it reminds me so much of mew like with the gold trims oh my gosh I, wow 
Sarah works really hard on her bows, guys. Very hard. And sometimes she collaborates with other creators, like she did with this person with the pin. Like, she used their pin and placed it on her bow, her gorgeous, elaborate bows. And we've got to get some detail uh, on this. We really do. we got to check it out. So, look at this. And now, I don't know if she put these little jewels on here. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Look at the trim. You see this? And we got little sparkles throughout the sheer part of the fabric. Like, look, look at all these layers. Like, this is not just a couple of ribbons. She's got layers upon layers of ribbon. So, I mean, look at, I mean, this, I, I'm speechless, Sarah. I'm speechless. This is beautiful. This is elaborate. This is just, I love it so much. We're going to wear this. We're going to wear this in the video. I promise you that. And I love this pen. I'm definitely going to have to check out, what was her name? Bunny, Bunny Bee, Bunny Bee, something. Something. Yeah, Bunny Bee Studio. Definitely gonna have to check out their work if they do this cute galactic stuff. Like, I love the planets and I love the pastel colors. Damn, girl, you outdid yourself. I don't think I saw this bow anywhere, so maybe it is first revealed on my channel. Everybody should go check out Adorka Bows right now after you're finished watching this video and talk about getting a bow done by her. I believe she has custom bows. Is that right, Sarah? You will take custom orders, correct? Because, damn. Mm. Mm. And those little, um, what was this? One of the little Gashapon charms. This is actually official merchandise right here. So she can use official merchandise, guys, if you want it incorporated in any kind of bow that you would like to get from her. Oh, I love it. Did I show the back yet? I don't think I have. I was too busy, like, fangirling over this whole, whole bow. And this is the kind of uh, clip we use, which is the good kind. I could just clip it right in my hair without needing a mirror. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to wear this. Thank you so much, Sarah. I can't thank you enough. This is this has exceeded my expectations. I, I just love everything about it. And I'm so honored you <laughs> sent me this bow to showcase on my channel beautiful we got one more creator to showcase their goods and this is a little different y'all this is a little different than anything you've ever seen on this segment so far this is by a creator called sq sq acrylic so let's just open it up I'm like what the heck is this ochi what the heck is this we got a lot going on here right i also want to say this person this a business owner this small business owner made this specifically for me we worked together to design this piece right here you guys can already see oh shit we got the Cosmic Heart Compact in the house. Do you expect anything less? Do you? Do you? <laughs> You're like, what is this? What is this? All right, we got a little, little notesy here, first and foremost. Thank you for the opportunity. The mirror needs three AAA batteries. The light up plaque can be powered by the included cord or three AA batteries. I love your Instagram and Facebook pages. I have made so many purchases. SQ Acrylic Alexa. Thank you, Alexa. That means a lot that you enjoy my content, enjoy my pages. And I'm about to enjoy some of the stuff you make right now. Hi, guys. Oh my God. Now you can see me. What up? You guys see that? You guys see that right there? You guys see that? Oh, yeah. Read it out loud with me. What's it say? Moon cosmic power makeup, right? Oh, but it's not as subtle as that. Oh, yeah. Remember when the, she wrote that it requires batteries? This puppy lights up. We're gonna um put some batteries in this. Triple A's acquired, yo. Now let's see if Ochi can put in batteries. Oh, God. I'm so stupid when it comes to this shit. Can you all believe I used to work in IT? I know. It doesn't make any fucking sense to me either. Plus, plus, plus. Hey, yo. No, no, no. Watch out, world. She put batteries in. Oh, and I just got fingerprints all over it. Son of a bitch. This is how you clean fingerprints off, you know? Just use a Sailor Moon bow. I'm a genius. It worked. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is a mirror for your car, right? Did I make that clear? You uh, clip this on to your rear view mirror in your car, in your vehicle. So what I am aware, I believe SQ Acrylics, through their Etsy shop, you can custom make a design of your own. Like you can work with them and get something made to your liking. Like it, does, it can be exactly what I've got here. If you really like the Cosmic Heart Compact, 
You can get this. You can get it without the words. You can get it with a different compact. I mean, the possibilities are endless. They can make it. Oh my gosh, the depth of it is freaky. Looks like it goes on and on forever. Whoa. I'm gonna put this in my car. We're gonna have to get some footage of this in my car, right? Wow. SQ Acrylics, thank you so much. I am so impressed. I cannot wait to be extra on the road with this. This is not the only thing they sent. They also sent something else. And this is the base for it. I believe it is an acrylic stand. Now, I don't know what this one is. Like, we worked together on the mirror to design that. But this is completely something they sent on their own. So I don't even know what this looks like. I do not. Oh, we got a super solar moon right here. Do I remove this? What is this? Oh, it's something else. They also sent a little keychain. It says SQ Acrylic. We got the Sailor Moon right here holding Luna. Little kitty witty. Little moon kitty witty. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. How do you get so creative? This person put a little heart as the keychain. Okay, so I am assuming we do remove these, but oh my gosh, I'm afraid to. How, like, is there an easy way to, to do it? Like, I've already broke three nails, which are these three ugly ones right here. Those are press-ons. <laughs> Make fun of me all you want. I don't care. Okay, I got the backing off. I had to call help from the hubs to help me get it off because I didn't want to break a nail. But yes, there was just a protective coating on the back. That's the first time I've seen that with any acrylic stuff because I've had other acrylic stuff in before. So I didn't really, I was, I was a little puzzled by that at first, but that's really cool. It helps keep it scratch free. So it comes your way all safe. So that was the keychain. Love that. So we also got the backing off of this big bad boy right here which is a super sailor moon standee type thing which goes into this base i have already put the three double a batteries in it that it takes but this can be uh very many colors we have this handy dandy thing right here and we can just change the color so we got green we got blue we got red um we can do flash so we can do strobe we can do fade and also we got the smooth which also does that i can also turn it off if i want it off if i want it back on i can turn it on <laughs> i'm gonna love this in the background of my collection videos from now on so you're gonna see this you're gonna see this back there i'll also include some footage of it um right now of it just hanging out on my shelves looking all beautiful and cool sq acrylic i cannot believe you wanted to work with me to design a unique mirror for me to showcase on this channel i am beyond happy with it i'm going to show you guys some footage of it in my car right now on the screen let me know what you guys think of it i think it looks really cool what a unique piece for a sailor moon fan i also love the acrylic keychain they sent and the acrylic light up standee so it's not just limited to this car mirror you can get other things from them as well but uh here is their card on the back right here it will say sq acrylics thank you hope you enjoy this as much as i enjoyed making it love seeing your products being used tag us on instagram remember i will have all the links to their shop and instagram down there in the description as well check out what they have guys and if you don't see something talk to them it sounds like they can make you some custom goods thank you so much sq acrylic so happy that i got to feature you on this segment what do you guys think of my new bow Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Let me know which item you saw in today's video was your favorite. I know I personally was really shocked by the acrylic stuff in the mirror. This was something I never thought that, you know, um, somebody was out there doing. Like, I, I knew that you could get some of this stuff, but I didn't know, like, just a normal Sailor Moon fan was out there making this. So I was a little shocked by that, but I loved everything that these Sailor Moon fans have sent me. I can't thank you guys enough. I hope I offered some sort of additional reach for you guys, and I hope you continue to succeed and make those sales. If any of my viewers are going to check out a certain creator's shop, please let us know down there in the comments which one you want to check out. I want to know which shop caught your interest and you want to check out their stuff. Y'all know you need a bow like this. And I'm probably wearing it incorrectly. I bet it would look cute as like a little bow above your ponytail or something like that. I just wanted to prop it in a way that you guys can see me wearing it. Because if it, I put it in the back, you guys wouldn't be able to see it. And I want you guys to see it in all of its glory. 
If you are a creator and would like to be featured on this segment of Fan Made Fridays, whenever I get around to the next one, reach out to me on any of my social media pages by messaging me. Or if you prefer email, you can email me at ochivaproductions at gmail.com. But that's it. So before you guys go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my other socials to see what I'm up to on those. Share my channel with a friend. Consider joining my private Discord community. Or if you just enjoy my content and want to send me a tip, tips are appreciated but not required. I do have my tip jar through Buy Me a Coffee down there in the description below. That's where you're going to find all of the information all in one spot about everything. Just read the description. It's got good stuff. You can support small businesses, support me additionally if you would like to down there by reading that description. Thanks so much again, guys. Stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I've got lots more stuff coming up because your girl's always behind on shit. Always, always behind. I'm going to go insane. I gotta show you my good side. I really do feel like a magical girl up in this bow. Like, I feel like I could take on a bad guy. Let's go fight crime right now. Mm. I still can't believe Enchanted Dan sent me a Dorothy pin. That is so fucking Kansas. I can't believe it. I can't believe somebody just remembered that I'm from Kansas. Because normally, you know, people think I live in California. When I tell people I live in Kansas, they're like, no, 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 no. What the fuck is Kansas? Where the fuck is Kansas? I'm in the middle of the USA and Kansas is great. Come visit me sometime. Come join me in this glorious disaster of a room. Wonder if they can make me a cosmic heart compact one. <gasps> Dan stumped me. Dan stumped me on my own channel. I cannot believe you did this to me, Dan. I thought we were friends, Dan. I didn't know on top of my head. Why am I singing? <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's gonna look cute. It's gonna look cute with this bow. Sarah made me look cute. And that's what Sarah can do for you. You want to look cute? Buy a bow from Adorka Bows. Did I sell it? Did I sell it? Did I sell it? <laughs> Can I just get some poses real quick? I mean, I'm in this cute shirt, I'm in this cute bow. I'm surrounded by all this cute shit.